So you're looking for a mid-range or cheaper phone and you're like, okay, which one do I actually pick? Well, that's actually a tough question when there are so many mobile phones to be released. However, today I'm comparing two different devices. While I currently don't own them at the same time, I can tell you about my experience about the devices and how I felt about each. So let's dive into this comparison with the Xiaomi Mi A3 and of course the Samsung Galaxy A50. The Samsung Galaxy A50 and of course the Xiaomi Mi A3, there is quite a lot of similarity between the two but also they are quite different. To start off in terms of design they look very similar. Get this one in white for the Xiaomi Mi A3 and it looks almost exactly like the Samsung Galaxy A50. However there is a bit of design difference in the way they did the camera housing around it. But apart from that it looks very similar. The same kind of display look with of course a teardrop notch and of course a bezel at the bottom. Apart from that, you get your USB-C charger, of course you get your headphone jack and your speakers and all that. But let's dive more into these devices. So the Samsung Galaxy A50 comes with an Exynos 9610, which is based on a 10 nanometer process. It also comes with a 6.4 inch Full HD Plus display. And of course you have 4 to 6 gigabytes of RAM and internal memory is either 64 or 128 gigabytes. But you can expand that via micro SD. For the Xiaomi Mi A3 you have a Snapdragon 665 and that is based on an 11 nanometer process. In turn you have a 6.01 AMOLED display, however it is 720p. So we're going to talk about which one I prefer, but I think you can already tell. Apart from that you either have 4 or 6 gigabytes of RAM as well and 64 gigabytes of internal memory. Again you can expand this via the micro SD. So in terms of specifications these are quite similar, however there is a difference in experience. The Xiaomi Mi A3 comes with Android 1, this means you get a pretty clean Google experience and that is something that I do appreciate but it's also pretty boring compared to something like the Samsung One UI skin. The Samsung One UI skin has some improvements and it isn't laggy or anything like that that we know from the Samsung Galaxy S4 or S5 around that time. But One UI is pretty fast so I don't have any trouble with it, however in terms of updates, Samsung isn't known to be fast with that, where Android One is better with that. In terms of difference of speed, I don't really notice a lot of differences. They both do really well in day-to-day -day life and I feel like there isn't much to be gained by having either of these with that. However, in terms of speed for the fingerprint scanner, I have to give it to the Xiaomi Mi A3. It simply is a little bit faster than the A50 and it often recognizes it better than on the Samsung Galaxy A50. And then we get to the main portal of the device itself and that is of course the display. With the display itself both have an AMOLED display. However the Samsung Galaxy A50 has a 1080 plus display where the Xiaomi Mi A3 only has a 720p display. Both are AMOLED but the Samsung has a higher resolution. This makes it easier to read things because it is a bit more blurry on the Xiaomi Mi A3 of course. It has a lower resolution. And in terms of brightness the Samsung Galaxy A50 wins there as well. It just does a bit better. Now however again a win for the Xiaomi is when it comes to battery life. Somehow Samsung isn't that great in optimizing battery life. For my Samsung Galaxy S10 it is pretty good but not amazing and the same counts for the Samsung Galaxy A50. It does well don't get me wrong but the Xiaomi Mi A3 does better and the difference is not there because of the battery size. This is mainly how it's optimized. The Samsung Galaxy A50 has that less optimized than the Xiaomi Mi A3. However, if we stop here, if I would declare a winner for either of these, I have to go with the Samsung Galaxy A50, but there is one more category. And that is of course the camera itself. And both have a triple camera setup. So this is going to be interesting. Again, I have not used these devices at the same time. I simply cannot hold the phone because, well, it's too expensive to keep every single phone that I buy. I don't get that. So I have to pay them out of my own pocket and lately my channel isn't going that well so I don't see a reason to keep the device. It's too expensive. Either way the Samsung Galaxy A50 has a triple camera setup and the Xiaomi Mi A3 has a triple camera setup. However there is a difference. 
For instance, the Xiaomi Mi A3 comes with a 48 megapixel sensor with a f1.8 aperture. The second one is an 8 megapixel sensor that is ultra wide with a 2.2 aperture. And then we have our depth sensor with 2 megapixels and a 2.4 aperture. It can record video up to 4K and 30 frames per second. And of course, you can record 120, 60, and 30 frames at 1080p. In terms of front camera, it has a 32 megapixel with a 2.0 aperture. Where on the Samsung Galaxy A50, we have a 25 megapixel main sensor with a 1.7 aperture. The second sensor is an 8 megapixel 2.2 aperture ultra wide sensor. And of course, the third one is also a depth sensor with 5 megapixels and a 2.2 aperture. In terms of video recording, however, it is limited to 1080p and 30 frames per second. And the front camera is a 25 megapixel with a 2.2 aperture. Both of these phones can take good pictures for the price, however I have to give it to the Samsung Galaxy A50. Mainly the dynamic range is just simply better and especially in low light the Xiaomi Mi A3 doesn't do that well with artificial lights. It simply creates a huge flare and it doesn't look good by any means. In low light the Samsung Galaxy A50 runs circles around it. However in day to day use I don't think you will notice a big difference. Dynamic range is slightly better again on the A50, but again, you have 4K recording on the Xiaomi Mi A3, where on the Samsung you don't. So both of these devices are really good and the prices are pretty comparable. The Xiaomi Mi A3 is slightly cheaper than the Samsung Galaxy A50, but if you have that little bit more to spend, I honestly at the end would advise the Samsung Galaxy A50. It's better and that's pretty odd to say because if you look two years back, it's easy to say that a budget phone from Samsung wouldn't have done that well against something like the Xiaomi Mi A1 for instance. So it's impressive that Samsung has grown so much in terms of these kind of devices. However with the Xiaomi Mi A3 the 720p display just isn't on par with the likes of the Samsung Galaxy A50. It's a bit of a shame but apart from that I do get it. It's a budget phone so you have to give up some parts. However if you can spend that little bit more buy the Samsung. Anyway I hope you enjoyed this comparison and of course if you enjoy my videos, don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell icon and of course like this video because that means a lot on YouTube apparently. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and this comparison. Let me know in the comments below which one you would pick. Either way, have a good one and talk to you guys in the next.